Well, we're in the build room today, and we're looking forward to a new little bit of a series, and that involves this gym right here. Five point three, twenty over. Got Wiseco pistons, Eagle rods, Balance factory crank. Set a Trick Flow. I think they're two twenty as cast. You can see a part number right there. All that good stuff. Um, today I'm going to be working on the belt drive system, and that involves this little goodie from ICT Billet. And what I'm trying to do is run. Remote electric water pump, which is what these adapters are, and that's from IT, ICT Billet as well. And I want to run, for you old guys that remember the, the old LT1 Vets and Camaros, the belt drive came up on the side over here. I think it actually went this way, if I remember right. But it came up, ran alternator AC and power steering all right here. And I want to run that up and around. I've got a LT1... Uh, power steering pump which is reverse rotation runs on the smooth side of the belt so that'll sit here run backwards alternator will be up here I just got to figure out how to make the belt tensioner and everything work we'll work with that but this bracket setup right here is what I've got and there we go there's the part number for you there we go more. This bracket system is easy on this one. Really nice and easy. I won't have my pump and everything until Friday, unfortunately. Oh, wrong bolt. Wrong one. Pretty simple here. All right. I got to figure out here how big a diameter that power steering pump pulley is before I can put it's going to need an idler to bring this belt back into here. I just don't know what's gonna or not gonna work. None of the other stuff is really all that concerning. And I might build a bracket to come off of here and maybe brace back into the head somewhere, like right here. These accessory bolt holes right here on the back of the head and put another idler, grooved idler, so it'll go grooved under, let's see. Now it'll come here, up, over the, the back of the power steering pump pulley, onto an idler, onto the alternator, back around probably to another idler to give it enough wrap. And then I just don't know if I can come across something here and have enough wrap here, which that, I would bet you that would work. And then it would clear the, the hoses would have to come in between the belt, which doesn't excite me, but it would work. Unless I get some O-ring, 90 degree O-ring fittings, I could run them across over here and run all my water lines over or run, yeah, because my radiator is a, is a dual pass. So both of my fittings are here. So I could 90 those and bring them across and then bring the belt on top of that because they wouldn't stick out much further than this. Plus the belt is here. Yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know, could be, could be great or worst thing ever. This could be a horrible idea or really, really good, but probably nothing in between. So we'll see. Here we got alternator power steering pump, remote mount electric water pump, which that'll run 
be over here-ish in that area. And then, yeah, just got to get her all figured out somehow or another, some way. All right, back on the Dragon Drive. And we got the bracket on, threw the alternator on, and then what I got today was my power steering pump. So this is an old school Camaro LT1 power steering pump. The uh, OptiSpark uh, reverse rotation, all that good stuff. I got that pump, and then the pulley I got is from Hawk's third gen. And it's a good chunk of money to spend on an experiment, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see. We're going to roll the dice. We'll uh, get some parts put on and let you know what I find. All right, this pump only has two bolts. Uh, most of them, like the, uh, the other ones, are threaded right here. Only has two bolts, nothing at all there. So we're going to go with two bolts. I think it'll be okay. So let's see. I have an idea on this how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna probably install and then I'm gonna figure out what to do. I know I have a room because this pump is in the exact same place as my other battery. I checked in here and it's literally in the exact same spot. So I know that there's this may be wrong, but I probably get it in the middle of the middle. I'm not gonna put it on the side, so that's whatever. Alright, there's that. Pulley's gonna be here. Let me go get my install kit. We'll get that put on. Oh, I was going to put that spacer in there. See that? Held on to it. You dummy. Come on now. Yeah, my major space concern on this vehicle was right here. The water pump pulley and the water neck. And I'm trying to think what else. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've messed with it. Oh, oh, oh. Put the spacer in, dummy. There we go. Well, one more time. One more time. Let me mess it up. That way I break it. And have to wait another three or four days for parts. That's always good, right? Oh, yeah. 
Nice. And what I'm hoping for is a stretch fit belt that will fit this. But I just don't know if that is going to be feasible. But I don't know. And what I have here is I have this piece that I may just have to space with a couple of washers. That is not going to work. Hmm. That's going to be a tough one there. But, I possibly, I got another idea here. Let me grab a belt so we can visualize. And then I'm, if this fits, I'm going to see if there's a stretch fit belt that's that length. Okay. Yeah, this is a used belt I got laying around. And here's kind of what I'm thinking offhand. Nope, that ain't going to do it. There won't be enough wrap. on that power steering pot. No, it doesn't even touch it. I gotta get this over here somehow. Probably have to make a bracket to come off of these two bolts and put a pulley out here, which shouldn't be a big deal. Put that right there. I don't know if I caught everything because the battery went dead, but we got the belt drive set up and we're all off to one side. Again, this is a 90s LT1 pump with a pulley from Hawks 3rd Gen and then um, made this bracket. Rough made it uh, for uh, idler pulley over here. And that was just to kind of get some more wrap on the power steering pump, which I think we're good. It is pretty stinking tight. Idler pulley here, and I'm just going to get a different bolt to get rid of that spacer in there. Truck alternator, and also I got a couple of fittings ordered up so I can run these at a 90. I could technically run that one straight out here, but you hold the potential of something happening. So I got two... Uh, ORB 90s to come out of there so they'll come over however I don't know now what I'm gonna do is my crankcase ventilation so I got this ICT billet cover which is a pretty piece and uh, what do you do with pretty stuff you cut holes in it so I'm gonna cut a hole here and a hole here and then we are going to put these guys in so those are just uh, breathers and they'll sit like here and here or here and here i can't remember wherever the standoffs are for the cylinder deactivation so we'll get those taken care of and that's it so i'll get this off and bring you back okay got my holes drilled cut whatever you want to call it and see if we can show you how this works so these breather setups this is what it's designed for is crankcase breather and they're machined kind of to have not a crazy opening in them to a 10 a.m and they just slide straight up into here like so now let's see here holding that with my chin 
so hopefully you can see it it's got a little set screw on it you just tighter her down get it good and tight tighten the set screw and that's it so we'll do both of those they already I already check fit them real quick they clear everything so no interference so then we'll come off with some 10 a.m. fittings and go to oh, I got a mess going go to my breather catch can here and it is baffled so I've used, I use one of these on my boat and I don't get a whole bunch of garbage uh, I don't get anything coming out of it up in top but it catches everything it's supposed to so we'll do that get her bolted on all right she is together I took off the o-rings that they came with they were really really thick and spongy and they squished out anytime you got any kind of tightness on them so I put on a hydrometer um, hydraulic o-ring so they'll seal good and you didn't have to you have to worry about them squishing out take a quick second here to ask you guys if you like what's going on in the channel why don't you do me a favor like comment most important subscribe that'll keep it growing it'll use the algo to push it out to everyone else appreciate it Here we go, got the hole drilled, hogged out a little bit, and that thing fits in there just right. So I should be able to put a bead right around that. Buzz around it real quick. Yep, just like everything else I do. Not pretty, but it'll probably be functional. A grinder and paint, because a welder I ain't.
little bit's good, more's better, right? This is just about the only place you put silicone on LS. I'm trying to think if there's any place else. Oh, side cap bolts. That's the only one other place. Factory ones come with sealant on them, but if you pull them out and replace them, you're supposed to put a sealer on them. Here's that pan. Got her all wiped down and clean. Double check and give her one more wipe down just because. Should have built a bigger build room. There's that fitting. I think it turned out all right. I filled the pan full of water. That's why it's got a few drip looking things on it. But I filled it full of water to make sure it didn't leak. And good news, it didn't. Six. This is not the bolts. Perhaps the panel back to the left. Yeah, the bolts here. Oh. Alright. So, just find way back here in front of the video. Unless I put the bolt panel all the way to the back. And I'll put those. I think it's all. I'll turn it back. I'll turn it back. So, the bolt panel is going to be Last shot of the engine. We'll see for a while. Unless something major goes wrong. Let's hope that doesn't happen. There we go. She is ready to go in. We're going to have this bad boy uh, installed in the vehicle in the next couple of weeks. Uh, stay tuned to see what we got going. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. But there's the engine for a lady built, ready to go. It ought to be a fun one.